What's up, everyone? I apologize that I have no true videos planned for Sunday just because of all the mishap with Saturday and everything not being able to go to too many games. I had to put up all the stuff I was working on in a rush up on Saturday. So Sunday, this is going to be a lone video, but I figured it was one that was heavily requested. This is the binge compilation of all the humans are space orcs. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the alien madness. Why are you doing that? You see, I want the particles in my food to vibrate at just the right frequency. Wait, you forgot to make that one vibrate. Oh, well, well you see, not with this food. This one's already vibrating at the desired frequency, but if it starts to vibrate at a higher frequency, I lock it back in the cold box. All our teeth fall out as children, and they all grow back stronger. Okay, I mean, that definitely sounds fake, but... Okay. We have smaller secret pants that we wear under our normal pants. Why? Imagine being a human in an alien crew in space and leaving with bright blue or pink hair and the color fades and everybody on board wonders, Why are you losing your colors? Is it the lack of greens? Are you sad? Angry? They just don't know! Human biology is baffling! Uh, these are the kind of pure posts I come to this place for. I'm sorry. What? Did you just say your comfortable temperature ranges? Honestly, we can tolerate anywhere from negative 40 to 50 Celsius, but we prefer to zero the 30 range. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, did you just list temperatures below freezing? Yeah, but most of us prefer to throw on scarves or jackets at those temperatures. It can be a bit nippy. Nah, mate, I knew this guy in college who refused to wear anything past his knees and elbows until it was like negative 20 at least. Huh, <laughs> yeah, everybody knows someone like that. And did you also say 50 Celsius, as in halfway to boiling? Ugh, yes, it sucks. We sweat everywhere, and God help you if you touch a seatbelt buckle. But yes. We've got like 50 uninhabitable planets we think you might enjoy. You're telling me that you have settlements on islands with active volcanism? Well, yeah. I'm not about to tell Iceland and Hawaii how to live their lives. Actually, it's kind of a tourist attraction. What, the molten rock? Well, yeah. It's not every day you see a mountain spew out liquid rocks. The best one's in Yellowstone, though. All those hot springs and geysers from the supervolcano. You actively seek out active supervolcanoes. Shit, man, we swim in the groundwater near them. But surely you have records of volcanic activity doing tremendous damage to human settlements. Yep, Pompeii's legendary. Entire cities went, towns buried under lava, people's brains boiled in the first rush of heat. Loads more killed by falling pumice. Ah, good. They learned their lesson and didn't build there again. Well... Are you seriously telling me this volcano is legendary for killing several urban conurbations and you built on top of it again? In our defense, it actually hasn't done it since. What about earthquake-prone areas? Tell me you're at least vaguely sensible about those. Oh yeah, after the first major earthquake that flattens a city, we build them better. And you say the poles of your world would get as low as negative 100 with wind chill? Yep, with blizzards you can't see through every other day just about. Amazing. When did you manage to send drones that would survive such temperatures? Well, actually... What? We kind of sent people. What? We sent... No, I heard you. Did I just... What? You sent humans to a place 100 degrees below freezing? Y yeah. And they didn't die? Well, the first few did. People died of the cold, and your solution was to send more people? That's it. I'm off this planet. Y'all are fucking crazy. Oh, fuck me. Um, uh, I, um... Oh, no, 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 sorry. That was, that's just an expression we say. I don't want you to actually, you know. <laughs> Phew. I thought you actually wanted me to engage in sexual activities with you, which worried me as I find the fleshy and hairless human form to be really quite repulsive. My mistake. <clears throat> Cheers. Why are they attacking each other? It's called boxing. It's a sport. And how does one win this sport? By knocking the other person unconscious. Barbarians. All of you. Today is the second week with our newly assigned human medic. As we already had a human on board, I assumed that we had all the correct accommodations and such things. 
I was incorrect in this assumption. It has come to my attention that the human homeworld, Earth, has a far broader range of climates and habitats than we previously thought. Our new human comes from a country called Australia, which I have learnt is wildly different to our cooks, whales. My home planet only has one habitable climate, the other is completely inhospitable. It seems the human's planet is similar in this, but they decided to live in the inhospitable areas anyway. Our two humans have seemingly bonded over the terrifying extremes their two countries experience. The new human has also brought a pet on board. This animal is apparently native to Australia. Ugh, the teeth and claws on it. The Universal Translator mustn't be working properly, because I believe its name is Fire Breather with Facial Hair. I have been assured it does not breathe fire. Humans truly are an astonishing species. You know, back on Cracks, we would have called that Fuck Up. But around you humans, it's normal. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, the weather in America can get a little sane. Oh, Toshi! Ohio gozaimasu! Did my English translator stop working? What's going on? Oh, don't worry about it. They're simply talking in a language of the country they came from. You have different languages. Every country? Well, most of us do, but countries also share the same languages, and some actually sound really alike. But isn't that annoying? Then you would never understand each other. I thought English was the planet language. Well, yeah, it can be a bit annoying to not understand each other. That's why we actually speak English internationally. It's pretty much the world's first language, and that's also why we used it when we talk with you. So, English is the most spoken language on your planet? No, Chinese is actually. I'm sorry, what? How did you humans survive long enough to form a functioning society? You have no claws, sorely lacking physical strength as a species, no physical defenses. We just walked quickly after things that were faster than us until they died or got too tired to run away anymore and accepted death. What the hell? Yeah, badass, right? There's a reason we're the top dog on Earl. Oh, shit! Are you sure? Yeah, pretty sure. So you just had blood sucked out of your arms, face, and legs after a five-minute walk outside? Yeah, but it's cool, because I didn't realize it was happening at the time. Oh. Okay. Shepard Commander, why is there a knife taped to that cleaning droid? Oh, that's just Stabby. What is its purpose? To fulfill a 160-year-old joke from the early 2010s. Why are humans like this? Where is human Sarah? Oh, she's just in her cabin. She needed to go lie down. She thinks she's got cramps. Oh, will she be okay? Yeah, girls have it once a month. Though apparently it feels like being stabbed. You mean human women have a time of regularity upon where they feel as if they are getting stabbed? Yeah, some girls pass out because of it. What? So you pay people to poke your mouth bones? Uh oh, you mean a dentist? Yeah, they're known for causing pain, but we're required to visit them. Why would you suggest yourself to that type of torture? Well, they keep our teeth from falling out. And? Well, you see, humans only have one set of teeth in adulthood and after, so if we lose them, we couldn't eat any solid foods. How did humans cope with this before dentists? I don't know. I guess we just died before it was a problem. What is that? It's cake! It's like this fluffy bread stuff with icing. It's really good. What is icing? Mm. It's this stuff that we decorate sweets with. It has a lot of sugar. May I try this cake you speak of? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Mm. This is wonderful. I detect a large amount of sugar. Why don't humans eat this more often? Well, we usually eat it at celebrations, especially at birthdays, and we put candles in it. We would eat it all the time, but the sugar can give you diseases and illnesses. What is a candle? It's a mini stick you light on fire. So you willingly eat something that can ultimately end your life, and you light mini sticks on fire and put them in your food to celebrate. Um, yes? You are all idiots! Can you pass me the jar of hot sauce, please? Um, okay. What's in hot sauce anyway? Is it actual fire? No, I actually don't know, but it's usually stuff like tomatoes and chili. What's chili? It's a plant, which is red and spicy. Spicy? Describe spicy. Well, um, it is a sort of taste that 
simulates pain. What? Why do you eat it if it simulates pain? Because we like pain. Hello, human. Where is human Matty? I haven't seen him all day. Uh, oh, Matty went to lie down and rest. Is he going through sickness? Sort of. He had a seizure and needed to take it easy. What is a seizure? It's a disease that can lead to violent shaking in nerves and body functions. Some can start foaming and others need medical care to get better. My stars! How can he relieve this? Well, normally it would take a long time for it to leave, but mostly people just have to deal with it. Hey, where'd it go? Human, I have brought 15 cans of this thing called soup to get rid of your torture! Is this supposed to be funny? It's meant for a specific audience. And that audience is? Basically anyone. Whoa, what? That is not specific, that is general. It's not even that funny! Yeah, but basically people make them and laugh at them to cover up their agonizing pain and depression. That is disturbing. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Human, what is that image on your arm? Uh-oh, that, that's a tattoo. Fascinating. How was it put there, and how long will it last? Oh, they put a needle in my arm and drew the image onto my arm, and it'll last forever. Wait, you willingly were stabbed and had ink put into your arm to put a picture on it? Yeah, we humans have been doing it for hundreds of years. Before electric ones, they used a needle and would hit it with a block of wood to put it on the skin. Please tell me there is an easy way to remove it if needed. Yeah, they just use a laser to remove it. You use a laser to remove ink from your skin?! Human, I have been reviewing your planet's history and found something I need clarity on. Oh, sure. I'll be glad to answer. So, is this about our religious movements? Anti-drug campaigns? The emu war? No, no. I see it listed that you've had two war of worlds. Oh, yeah. They were brutal and countless humans died. As to be expected. But there is not a planet listed as your foe in either, and the victor listed is just two lists of some of your countries. Why is that? Um, Wait. Don't tell me. Both were essentially wars between all of our countries. And you did this twice? Yeah. Savages. So how do you put these animals in this place called a zoo? We kidnapped them. <sighs> we're also making robots and we're afraid that they'll kill us all. Why won't you stop making them? Because they're cool. Honestly, I'm starting to ship those two. Where are you shipping them and why? Oh, I I'm not shipping anyone anywhere. Ship means two people that I think would be good for each other. Humans? Pick each other's mates? Uh, I mean, if only. Well, I do not think shipping people is lit at all. I learned that from your human's internet. What are those things on your face? Oh, they're called glasses. So, what is their purpose? Oh, they help us see. Oh, so it's something all humans are required to wear. No, not all humans. Some of us have worse eyesight than others. So, do the glasses correct your vision? No. Sometimes if you use them for long enough, they make your eyes worse. Or at least that's the myth. What? Who came up with this idea? People who wanted money. So there's no way to correct your eyesight? Well, there's surgery. How do they correct your vision? Well, they use this laser. What is it with humans and lasers? It's not just us. Cats like them, too. Yeah! Day 1024. The humans on our pit stop brought a few animals they called companions. The first one is small and furry with tiny claws that hurt a bunch. They hiss and spat and are honestly as terrifying as the Kufkar at home. Apparently, this animal, they call it a cat, has a much larger version. It is a mystery why and how humans tame these creatures. Human, are you all right? Uh, yeah, man, just having a bit of relapse, I forgot to take my meds for MS. Dear stars, what is MS that it causes you to lay on the ground like that? It's basically when my immune system attacked itself and now I can't feel pain or cold, but everything's sore and hot. What are you doing, Glorkin? I shall help you feel better, human companion. Human, what are you drinking? Hmm? Oh, just milk. So, are you drinking the lactations of a female human? What? No, this is from a cow. 
Drinking another human's breast milk would be weird. So you find it weird to drink the lactation of other humans, but not animals. Oh, when you put it that way, it does sound weird. But it has high traces of calcium and strengthens our bones. I will never understand you humans. Hey, sometimes we also make milk out of nuts. What? Human, what are you playing? Oh, it's a game called Yandere Simulator. It's about this girl who's trying to get close to her senpai, and you have to kill her enemies, basically. Wait, this is a game about a lunatic woman who commits murder so a man will fall in love with her. Yeah, basically. And this is a game you play for fun? Yeah. Why? I mean, sometimes you can do martial arts stuff. That's pretty cool, too. Hmm. Human, is that person being fashionable? Oh, no, he's just blind. What is blind? Well, you see, some people are born with disabilities, which means that they can't use certain parts of their bodies when they're born. Like how blind people can't see, and how a crippled person can't walk. It really sucks, but we found some things to at least help them. Like a written language for blind people so they can read. Oh! I'm assuming humans are finding cures. <clears throat> hey, you sure are, buddy. I feel like you are lying. Human, where did you get these scars? Were you attacked? <sighs> no. Then how did you get them? I... made them. Why? Do all humans do this? No, only specific people do, but in different ways. But why? Honestly, p other people have different reasons. We don't know why we do them. I must find a cure for this! There is no cure for depression, buddy. What is depression? It's a mental illness that makes you really sad. And how do you catch this illness? A lot of ways. Are you feeling depressed? Yes. I shall cure your illness with food and entertainment! <laughs> Human, explain to me what this creature called dragon is. Oh, dragons are huge beasts with the bodies of lizards, the head of snakes, huge horns, and big bat-like wings. Early human told stories of hunting and slaying dragons. Now they're lost to history. Hmm. Interesting. Of course, those are just legends. Yeah, where'd he go? Human, I have used genetic modification to bring back your missing dragon. Oh my god! Are you pleased? Human, men, we are under attack! Dude, chill. It's just a couple of kids setting off fireworks. Why are humans spawn playing with explosives? Why do you act like it is normal? Because they're pretty. Ugh. I beg your pardon, Human John? Yeah, what is it? Why is that human undressing and going in that steamy room? Uh, oh, it's a sauna. It's basically a very hot room. There are also some hot rocks in there and you pour water on them and the steam just flies in. It's mostly used to hang out with friends to cure some illnesses or to just test how long we can stay in there. Some Russians deal with plus 70 degrees Celsius and always walk out all red and hot. But, eh, we can still get burnt or just pass out there. So you're walking into literally an oven and sit there with a possibility of death? Yeah, pretty much. This species is fucked in the head. I would not be surprised if they put themselves in cages and stay with the sharks, or if they jump off mountains with bags on their backs. That's what some people do as a job and enjoy it. And the other one's a sport. <laughs> Human, what is this? I thought humans couldn't view other dimensions. Oh, no, this is something we make. Fascinating. And how do you make it? Well, we basically force ourselves to draw thousands of images of the exact same thing moment by moment. Wait, 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 wait. So you seesaw communication and ignore everything for hours? Only if you want a cartoon longer than three minutes. What colorful hell have you created? Oh, if we want characters to speak, we have to break our own speaking mechanisms inside a padded closet for hours in order to get one line for three seconds. What is this thing I looked up in your history called a catapult? It is a thing we use to fling objects at other people with. You fling your earth cats at other humans?! What? No, that would be cruel! We use them to fling rocks at other people. What? And sometimes humans. How is that any better?! Oh no, I'm gonna die! What?! What is wrong, human?! Damn it! I died! Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs>